Let's see what's going on in Diagonal land. Let's go back to Canada for a second here. Um, yeah. This came out, it was a couple days ago now, I think, but uh, pretty wild. Excess deaths in Canada across all age groups up by an estimated 75% in 2022 compared to 2021. That is fucking crazy. I wonder why he thinks that is. Absolutely crazy. I've I've seen this same statistic for uh, you know Europe. I think the highest one was Iceland, and Iceland it was like forty eight percent excess mortality from twenty twenty one to twenty twenty two. I think Germany was in was forty percent or something, and the other European countries were you know twenties to thirties. Um, and it did correspond with pokey poke uptake. As in, the more people who, the more likely a person was in a country to take the pokey poke, the more likely excess mortality rates rose. So, all right, let's uh, if that claim makes any sense. Now, I don't tend to be a medical expert or a statistical expert, but it would make sense, according to him, that if a country with higher rates of vaccination would have higher rates of excess deaths. Now let's take a look at this. Excess mortality, cumulative deaths from all causes compared to projection based on previous years per million. So this is per capita. Right at the top of the list, Bulgaria. By, by far the highest excess death rates. Compare that to their vaccination rates, 30%. One of the lowest, 30%. Russia, also one of the lowest, 61%. 55 fully back. All these countries at the bottom, Qatar, are the very lowest of all these, or at least the lowest, most lowest and consistent. Qatar's vaccination rate, top three, 99%. 99% for Qatar, excess deaths way at the bottom here. All these other countries, higher rates of vaccination compared to Russia, Mexico, all of them all lower than uh, the unvaccinated country. So right off the bat, right on his face, uh, his claim makes no sense whatsoever. Coming from a conspiracy theorist, crypto-Nazi, ultra-nationalist, far-right guy, uh, not that surprising. Uh, also, he, also, would you want to take your vaccination medical advice from a guy who says stuff like this so when people are like space is fake i'm like ah maybe i don't care what like what difference does it make um but no i don't actually i don't think space is fake i think the moon landings are fucking fake as, as shit like they're they're for sure fake are you kidding me are you fucking kidding me it, like looking at that that 1967 footage now it's so fake it's so fucking fake um and yeah, I think all the subsequent missions to the moon were also fake, but I don't think space is fake. Wow. So space, not fake. Moon landing's fake. Anyway, yeah. Uh, probably don't get your vaccination conspiracy info from Diagon and those kind of guys, because according to them, vaccinations, all just a global homo plan to uh, control you from the top down puppet masters who are you know globalists aka just say starts with a j rhymes with booze anyway if you want to get your medical advice from this guy good luck to you